Today I'm going to show you how to resolve MetaMask failed transaction error. This means that if you are trying to send Ethereum or if you are trying to buy and sell on Uniswap, you are getting failed transactions returned on your MetaMask. And what I mean is if I click here on my MetaMask, scroll down here you will see one of such transactions. Send USDT, I was trying to send USDT and I got failed transaction and here I had another one. As you see send LKR and I also got failed transaction and usually what happens whenever you are getting these transactions you are getting charged anyway you are getting charged but that's how Ethereum blockchain work but if you want always to send your transaction and you don't want to get any more these failed transaction errors I will show you how to resolve it in this video But first I will show you what error you are getting when you are getting these failed transactions. Usually this error is because of your MetaMask wallet itself because it is paying too less Ethereum for sending transaction and it is as a result also it is giving too small gas to the transaction and transaction doesn't go through however ethereum is getting charged from your metamask wallet anyway so as you can see here if i come into my metamask if i click on this failed transaction if i click on it and here on the top right i can click on view on etherscan and this will open this transaction on Ether etherscan and you can check any transactions which you have been doing this way on etherscan and here if i scroll down as you can see here guys to and here is the warning error encountered during contract execution out of gas and this is what i'm talking about if you are getting these failed transactions this is most likely what you will be getting this out of gas that's why your transactions will not be getting through but to resolve this problem all you need to do is to check for transaction fees which are currently on ethereum network or which currently you need to pay and how much gas you need to add to send these transactions and not to get these failed transaction errors on your metamask and to do this guys go to google and in google type in at gas station and you will get this website at gasstation.info click into it and here at the very top when you will be on eat gas station.info website here you will see how much ethereum you need to pay for transaction depending on how fast you want that transaction to execute as you can see here guys recommended gas prices for guay this is pretty much for gas fees if you want your transaction transaction to execute very fast in current situation that would be 31 but for example if I would want fast it would also be 31 and if I would want to execute standard I will have to pay 26 and I can check these numbers on my metamask wallet and how I can do it is by clicking on my metamask wallet and here on my ethereum wallet for example if I would want to send ethereum or if you would like to send any other assets select that asset first and then click send and once you click send you enter your address where you want to send whether it's Ethereum or it is another ERC20 token I will add this existing address where I have been sending guys which was a saved address of Ethereum because this is just an example and to check these fees on your MetaMask wallet you scroll a little bit down and here you will see these advanced options just click in these advanced options and here you will see this gas price and currently mine is set at 31 another thing which you need to do is here where is the gas limit here at the end at one zero this means that currently you are paying higher fee even if you are adding 31 for example in some circumstances if you would like to send fast that could be 36 here or uh, or even 40 or even 56 it depends how overloaded this ethereum blockchain you add this first number in this first field for example if you would like only fast your transaction you can use also 31 in other circumstances this fast could be like 26 and this standard could be 24 for example but normally if you would like if you would like to add normal transaction speed you are adding the first number this one 
like in this case that would be 31 that would be extra fast or as soon as possible in current situation as ethereum blockchain is not overloaded i can also add 31 and like i mentioned here in the second field you are just adding another zero whatever it is even if you are, would be adding standard here in the gas limit field you are adding another zero and it will charge automatically anyway as much gas fee as it needed for transaction but note guys like i already mentioned this will raise your transaction this will raise your amount per transaction so your transaction will become more expensive but you will not be losing your money and your transactions will go through 100% after you have done this click save and you will be able to execute this transaction and it will not be returning failed transaction or for example if you are doing the same with buying and selling cryptocurrency or ERC20 tokens by using Uniswap guys you are doing exactly the same before you are accepting that transaction when once you execute it on uniswap you also go to these advanced features and you are just raising this gas price and you are adding another zero here at gas limit on in second field guys and all your transactions will be going through with no problem so yes guys i hope that you found this video useful if you did leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you're new and see you in the next one